Welcome to this episode of FTK Feature Focus, and we are going to continue our look at Enterprise Collections. Last week, we loaded up a preview of a computer on our network, and we exported a couple files. That's cool for just a couple files. This week, we're going to take it up a level by using filters within our preview window. So subscribe to the channel, and we'll get right into it. Okay, so here we are in FTK Enterprise. And just so you know, we're in FTK Enterprise 7.5.2. This will most likely be the last time we see 7.5.2 because FTK 7.6 just released today. So perfect, we have a great update and I'll be rolling over as soon as I can. We have a preview loaded up here into the interface. So I'm gonna to go to the filter manager really quick and I have imported in a bunch of filters that I want to use or whatever. And so what we can do that's cool about this in preview is we can actually save, share and import our filters just as we would if we were doing dead box forensics or whatever. I could select review files group one, hit define, and we could see exactly uh, what we're pulling in. Notice that I have some of these deselected, so I'm bringing in event logs, I'm bringing in registry files, and uh, user activity and settings. And these are other filters here, so notice filter matches. So this would be the registry files, the event logs, and what are those? Well, they're actually other filters that I made for um, this filter. So we can see we're going to get amcache, hive, activities, cache, link, so on and so forth to bring in. And the reason that we're going to do that is we just want to populate system summary. So we'll bring that over into in include and hit apply. We could have also just selected it from the drop down here, of course, but I wanted to show you the different filters and, and you know, you can import and bring them all in. So then at that point, you can just quick pick your directory tree here and we can see all the files that we get the links the dll's etc that satisfy that filter so we brought it down from 910,000 to 516. so what we're going to do at that point is follow the procedure here we're going to right click we're going to export to image we're going to do all listed because we want everything we're going to click ok we sit add, we could put in our case information, of course, we're going to specify the folder as the desktop, which you know, is whatever, we're going to call this sys summary image or whatever, I don't know, we'll crank this up to nine and click OK, and start. And it's going to go through. Once that finishes up, we can go check our desktop. We have our text file here oh, it's up here on the top. So we can open up FTK Imager real quick, just to take a look at that. We'll add an image file, go to next, browse, and we will go to our system summary image, click open and finish. And we have just our stuff here uh, that we pulled out. Maintains the path and everything for proper reporting, so perfect. So then what we can do actually is we could deliver this to whoever was going to do the analysis. If you were going to do the analysis, you can always add, go to evidence, add, remove, and then click add. We're gonna do acquired image, and we're gonna do system summary image and click open. And we're gonna change our refinement options here. And we just wanna do file signature analysis, and we're gonna do generate system summary. And we're only going to do those two for this one because that's, those are the files that we pulled out for that reason. We'll click OK and we'll click OK. The cool thing about this is that because of the type of processing that we're doing, system summary, we only have a couple files, it does not take very long. You can see even on um, my laptop that I run this on, it took less than two minutes to process the system summary information. So we can close that. We can go over to the system summary tab. Remember to turn your filter off. 
go to unfiltered, and then we can expand this out. We can see we have application information, device information, network information, operating system info, recent files, etc. So we can get USB information, uh, see what was plugged in there, when, auto run, what installed apps, etc. And it's all preserved in the image and you know when you imaged it, of course, so you kind of get a snapshot there, what you had based on your filter. Save those filters into your FTK so that it's just quick. You preview the drive, drop down, pick a filter, it lists out, you can right click to image and then you can analyze it later. And I actually have a presentation coming up on how to build this review set or this quick filter, the types of files that you need to get this information very quickly. That'll be on September 22nd, 2022. <laughs> I put the year just in case who knows when anybody's listening to this. It'll be on Cyber Social Hub. If you don't catch it live, on that date, Cyber Social Hub, of course, will have a recording of it there. Um, but come check it out and you can get more information about how to build a filter like this. Hopefully this was helpful in general about how you can use preview and filter to get the information that you want really quick and preserve it in a forensically sound manner. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again in the next episode.